channel. Today I've prepared this gorgeous French fruit tart. It's a perfect pick-me-up to ease the boredom during this lockdown due to coronavirus. I hope you're all safe and well. <laughs> Let me get ahead and show you how I made it. Start with some flour and then I added some eggs and just give it a good stir. Then once the eggs are stirred in, add some nice quality vanilla essence, give it another stir. Add a cinnamon quill and then top it up with the milk. And now all this, all the recipe for making this is all included in the description box below. It's so easy, truly, give it a try. Next place your pot on the boil. And whisk it thoroughly because you want to really get this lovely light and fluffy and creamy. It won't take too long and cook it till it gets really lovely and thick. And then take it off the stove. And then once you've taken it off the stove, remove the cinnamon quill and the orange peel and dish it out into a nice cool stoneware dish or somewhere where it can cool nicely. Smooth it out evenly to fit the plate so it has a bit of chance of cooling and then return the cinnamon quill and the orange peel so it can still absorb some of those flavours and then you just need to cover it with some glad wrap just so it won't form a skin and just set it aside and we can move on to making the pastry. For the pastry you'll need to add flour um, to a mixer of some kind. I mean you can do this by hand by all means but it's just it's just easier with a mixer obviously and give it a little bit of a mix and then next you'll need to add the specified quantity of butter and make sure that it's nice and cold and cubed and then just mix it through till it resembles fine breadcrumbs. Pulse it if necessary. You're looking for a fry, fine breadcrumb mixture or like sand and then all you need to do is add the other components which is um, an egg yolk and some cream. As I said all um, the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Once you've added that then all you need to do is mix it again or mix it through gently. Don't over mix at this point. Just continue to mix and you'll notice that it'll all, um, the flour will clump up and become a ball and then you'll know that your mixture is ready. So you have to um, remove it and put it onto a floured surface. You can chill this pastry prior to working but I didn't uh, do it this day. Um, just Use a rolling pin and flatten it out, but don't be really rough with it. Try and be as gentle as possible. Use as little flour as possible as well. And roll it out so you want to fit it into your um, pie case. Once you're happy with it, wrap it around your rolling pin and then lay it into your pie case. And just gently manipulate it into its natural shape. And then all you need to do is just trim off the rough edges around. But, you know, don't be rough with it. Try and be gentle because this is like a short crust uh, pastry and it's, you know, you want it to be lovely and biscuity. Next, just cover it with tin foil or owl foil, whatever you call it, I'm not sure. And weigh it down with pie weights. In this instance, I'm using rice that I use continuously all the time for pies. And just level it out and then put it in the oven and bake it till it's golden and gorgeous. When everything is cooled down and you have fruit cut up and ready to go, 
we have to um, fill the pie case with the custard, which I have actually cut with lovely fresh whipped cream to make it even lovelier and lighter. So then you commence to fill your pie case with that lovely custardy, creamy goodness. Yum! I just, I'm licking the screen almost because I know how delicious this is. So smooth it out as best you can and then just use the artist within you to decorate with beautiful fresh and even canned fruit whatever's available to you and just make it your creation <laughs> And I'm just using apricot jam that I've heated in the microwave. You can use, um, you can make a jelly compound if you want and do it that way, but I find that apricot jam is the easiest. So just take your time, fill it all in with this lovely gloss, and then basically you're done. You just have to freeze it, or not freeze it, refrigerate it, you know, for a good four to five hours so it's lovely and chilled all the way through, and you're ready to cut into its sumptuousness ready to eat it and enjoy it and hopefully it'll cure you of these horrible coronavirus blues that we're all feeling at the moment and here it is in all its glory the fragrance is amazing the taste is sensational I do urge you to try and make it it's gorgeous your family will love it Dear friends, if you're finding yourself alone, lonesome with these with this coronavirus, or if you're in a family and you're, you know, practicing self-isolation, you know, just sit down, eat together, pray together, be together. That's all we can do to combat and, and you know get through this. Well lovely people, you saw how easy that was to make. Maybe you will consider giving it a try while you're home during this silly flu. Um, I hope we're all safe and sending you all my love and good wishes. Thank you for the people that return week after week and the ones that are new. Wish you the best of everything, people. Bye-bye for now. Bye.